We are live. Blessed evening, blessed evening, blessed evening. Blessed evening, blessed evening, blessed evening, blessed evening, blessed evening. Blessed evening, blessed evening, blessed evening, people of God. Blessed evening. Blessed oh. evening, blessed evening. <laughs> Praise the Lord, for this is the day that the Lord, he has made. I shall do what? I be shall good. rejoice. Be glad. I shall be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm excited tonight. I was, I've been encouraged all day today. Why well, I tell you that morning encouragement was lit. I was on it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. I, I needed that. I needed God. that today. Yes, yes. The Lord used the man of God today. What a blessing it was. In the morning encouragement, I, I, I just said, Lord, I tell you, God, when you when you choose them, God, you know how to choose them. You, you give them words and, and 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 things that they need to just bless the people with. We just thank the Lord tonight. God is good. I'm excited about the Lord tonight. God is good. God is good. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. As you come on in, like and share, comment where you're from. Amen. Are you ready? Get some what heart. City are you ready? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 We honor the Lord tonight. God is good. I'm excited in my spirit. I, I feel good in my spirit. You know, I um I just thank God. I <laughs> you know, somebody might say, How many times is she gonna say that? I just thank the Lord. <laughs> If you know, like I know what the Lord done done for me, you, you will cry out too. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Because I know that the Lord, he saved me. We thank God. Um, I honored the man of God on tonight, uh, Minister Sean, uh, for his heart to, to serve the Lord and to serve God's people. Uh, blessed evening, we ask that as you come in, that you please, please, please uh, share uh, share this live uh, with the people of God to bless someone, um, you know, to bless someone who may be going through, to bless someone that, you know, may be struggling, to bless someone that is in need Amen. of help, to bless someone that is in need of encouragement, to bless someone that may be at the edge of their life and they don't know which way to go and the Lord is using us to speak to them. We got to share Amen. You're on here because you know that the Lord is moving. Not us. We not moving. But the Lord is moving. Amen. So we want to make sure that we allow the yes. Lord's people. Oh, to welcome, speak. welcome, welcome. Come on in. Yes. It's Monday Night Live. Am I um we still receiving fresh manna from the Lord. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> so we do have a song we're gonna play. Um in a minute, I'm trying to figure out why my page is acting crazy, as usual. That's all right. That's all right. If what God has for you to bring forth, it will come forth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. God oh. is good. You know, I can't. I can't see the comments on here. I can't see. Let me let me go on here and see what I can see. Um, yes. For you to bring forth, it will come forth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh Jesus. Is that me? I don't know that one. Yeah. God is good. God is good. You know, I can't I can't see the comments on here. I can't see. Is that me? Let me go on here and see what. Yes. I'm sorry, you all. I, I'm trying to see y'all comments. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Blessed evening. Blessed evening. Blessed evening, everyone that's joining. I, I wanted to make sure that I could see the comments on tonight. Uh, blessed evening to Auntie Shelly. God bless you. Blessed evening. Uh, Patrona evening. Thompson. God bless you. Uh, woman of God, Denise Johnson. God bless you. Michelle. Uh, Sister Michelle, God bless you. We ask that you just hit the share button. Hit the share button. 
share this live. Share this live with the people. Uh, share this live. I am trying to get this stuff shared and Amen. Amen. We are we are we are doing the technical things right now. So y'all got to bear, y'all got to bear with Pastor for a moment. Bear with us for a moment. I don't think I shared this in the group. I pray everyone has had a blessed and wonderful Monday so far. Amen. 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 Just come on in. Come on in. We welcome the Holy Spirit on the line tonight, and we welcome you, the Amen. people of God. Yes, Lord. We honor the Lord tonight. God is good. Who knows that the Lord is good? Who knows that God is good? I, I want to see some hearts flickering over there. Who knows that the Lord is good? Who knows that God can make a way out of no way? Who knows that the Lord will bring you out without a doubt. Who knows that God is working all things out for your good because he's intentional. Who knows that God is a good God? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All the time. All the time. Yes, 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 yes. All the time. Yes, I'm excited. Yes. I am excited. Yes. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hey. My God, I'm excited tonight. I tell you, I, don't, I think I got some energy from the food that I ate because I was a little tired earlier. I didn't got some strength. Amen. Ugh, it's going to be good tonight. It's going to be good. I'm getting ready to get the ready. Lord, get Lord ready. Get strength to those who are weak. Amen. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We yeah. honor the Lord. We honor God tonight. Uh, Minister Sean, would you like to start us off? Sure, sure, sure. As we come on in tonight, we just want to give glory to the Lord as always. We give honor to the Father, yeah. from whom yeah. all blessings yeah. flow for the week. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. blessings yeah. flow the in the name of Jesus. We honor God. Is that me again? Is that me again, Mother? I think so. I don't, know how. I, I don't I don't hear it no more. Okay. Me sorry about that. Okay. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come before your throne of grace tonight, Lord God, giving you thanks and honor that's through your name. Lord God, we ask that you bless the people tonight, Lord God. Let a rhema word come forth, come through, Lord God, that will be edifying to their souls, Lord God that to give them the comfort that they need in you, Christ Jesus. So Lord, we just thank you, Lord God, as we have gone out today and we have made it back home safely, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for those who are on the way home, Lord God, that they have traveling grace and mercy, Lord God, that you send your angels to, travel, to charge before them, Father God, making all crooked places straight, all rugged surfaces smooth, shielding them with a shield, a, a shield of protection in the mighty name of Jesus. We just continuously praise your name and we thank you for the blood of the lamb. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, come on in, come on in. The Lord has a word for you tonight. Amen, praise God, praise God, praise God. Glory to God. Our DJ over there, she getting it right, y'all. Oh, am I, am I the one playing the song? I thought she was playing it. I'm sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> I was saying what a song. I was wondering what a song was at. Hold on. Y'all got to forgive me. I, I was excited to get on here. I, I thought he was playing the song. Good morning tonight. It's always a blessing and an honor to come before the people of God. Yes, so yes. You all honor tonight, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you. Yes. We thank the Lord. All right. Can you hear it okay? 
I can, I can, I can. Can everyone hear the music that is playing? Yes, give us some thumbs up if you can hear it. Let us know if you can hear. You might want to turn it up just a little bit. I, I can't turn it up anymore. That's from my phone. Oh, yeah, that's kind of, that's, yeah, I can't hear it. Yeah, that's kind of low. I, I can't play it any louder. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's, you know what, I'm gonna, excuse me for one second, you all. I don't wanna, I got the battle with us a second. Try from my phone. Yeah, something's wrong with this because I it should be able to hear. You can't hear it at all. I hear it, but it goes in and out. All right. That's why I was anticipating that I wasn't going to be the DJ for tonight because the, the music don't like me with the Zoom. Me and Zoom, we ain't going together right now. Not when we playing music. You are my strength. Praise the Lord. We they can hear it now. Pick it up. Okay. It's going in and out for you too. What did you just do? Now we can hear it. Turn it up just a little bit now. Turn it up. Now say it reaches. Just a little bit. Yes, perfect. You are my strength. Come on. You are my strength. Yes, just give the Lord some worship tonight. Strength. Let him know that he is your strength. Because when you're going through difficult times, there's no strength like the Lord. Amen. And there's no distance. Uh, 
Welcome to this place. I know what we're going to do. We're going to get that music right tonight. You are my strength. Yes. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. Yes, Lord, we're going we gonna to sing. You Amen. are my strength, strength like no other. Yes, Lord, strength like no other. Same pastor. Reaches to me. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. Mm. You lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. Yes, you lift me up. You are my strength. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me. Yes, Lord. You are my strength, strength like no other strength like no other yes lord reaches me see the enemy tried to mess up the music but we're gonna sing for the lord Amen. in Amen. the fullness of Amen. your grace in the power of oh, your God. name, you lift me up. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. You lift me up. You are my strength. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, the devil thought amen, we were going to sing, but we, we can't get the music right. Amen. We sing, amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. As, as the scripture says, they that wait upon the Lord. Yes. Shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Yes, they shall yes. walk and not faint. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. I, I'm so excited. Something's going to go on tonight. I, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I, I, my God. Amen. Amen. We just welcome the Holy Spirit in. Tonight. Yes. Yes. The Lord is welcome doing in. something. Yes, well, what was, tonight, right where you are, just welcome the Holy Spirit in. Yes. Yes. Just, just, just begin to praise the Lord. The Lord. I, I feel right like praising Him. him. I Amen. feel like praising the Lord tonight. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Yes, Lord. What was that song that we sang? I feel like if Saturday? we were in, a, in, in the building, we, I, I, we'd probably be running around the, the building. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just, just giving glory to Lord, the Lord. Yes, Lord. Giving we thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Just hallelujah yes, oh amen. jesus hallelujah oh amen. god is good god is good god is good i i i'm telling you I, the lord is here he, he is here the lord is here and he's able and willing to move and shift and turn your life around some of you are struggling some of you are going through and standing in the midst of a sane mind and depression but god is saying here i am here I am. Come seek after me. Come to my kingdom. Come looking for me. Come yes, bow yes, down yes. to me. Yes, oh, Lord. God is good. And he's worthy to be praised. Mm, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bring it to my remembrance. Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. We thank the Lord tonight. There is a praise on the inside. Hey. Mm. that I cannot keep I to keep myself. myself. There is a holler that's staring up from the depths of my soul. So excuse me if I seem a little giddy or maybe even strange. Amen. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. But praise all right. is I'm the way I'm I you. say thanks. That's, that, that, praise. that's awesome. That's just like David did. We 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 gonna dance with you. Mm. We gonna oh, pray God to the Lord. Good. We gonna God dance. Is good. We gonna do whatever it takes to let the Lord know how much we love Him and how much we God appreciate Him. He kept us. Amen. He kept us. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. yes praise the Lord. He is a king. Praise the Lord. Jesus. We he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Mm, Jesus. We came on here for one way, but the Lord said, no, 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 no. When you when you tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I want you to come in and just take control. I want you to just come in and just move and shift the atmosphere. I want you to come in and just give us what it is that we need. The Lord our God, it is our soul. The Lord our God shall supply all of our needs according to His riches and glory. Listen, yeah. if you are standing in, and I hear the Lord saying, there are so many people that are going through right now. You're looking. At at the pandemic and you're saying god i don't see a way out and god is saying but i am the way <laughs> i am the light i am your source of strength i am the one who you need to rely on to get you out of a pandemic see i'm not living in a pandemic I'm living in a shift in. So I believe that even though the world is going through that, I'm walking in the spiritual essence of the lord and the lord is carrying me through. See god is able to do yeah, we heard the song on Saturday say God is able to do just what he said that he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. So don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. That's He's the, able. The Lord there is, is a song that I sang and I cannot remember what that song is. I sang it on Saturday. I do not remember what it was. Awesome. The Lord says, here I am. Yes. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone Ooh. hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in 
and eat with that person and they with me. The Lord has, he's knocking y'all. Yes. The Lord is at the door. Y'all, are, are you all letting him in tonight? Open, open him in. Let him in. Let him in. Open the door. We, we just, hmm. Open the door. The Listen. Lord is knocking. Open the door. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I, I just want to say we we I, I feel singing in the, in our lives tonight. I, I I have a desire to just worship tonight. I, I, I don't know what's going on and what the Lord is doing, but amen, I, I'm gonna amen. follow the Holy Spirit if Minister Sean don't mind joining in with me tonight. We're gonna follow the Holy Thank Spirit. You all for joining in tonight. As you come on in, just hit the like button, share, give us some thumbs up, some hearts. But the Lord is worthy to be praised, and we just honor God tonight. Amen. Gracious. Oh, I, I, I want to sing, if I can, another song. Amen. Amen. Mm. Let the Lord use you. Amen. Amen. I don't sing. I don't like to sing too often, but when I do, you know, the Lord doing something in me, because I'm just more, more, more open to sing on the live where people can hear me spreading it all over the place, Lord, help me, Jesus. Amen. So Amen. some of you might be going through, but I, I want to sing this song. There's a song that I sung on Saturday. If anybody that was on the line is on this live, text me, message me or something so I can remember the song that I sang on Saturday because I do not remember what it was. But I want to sing this song and I've sang it before. You guys are familiar with it, but uh, I want you to understand that the Lord is good to us, right? So oh. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And some sleepless nights. But when I... When I look around and I think things over, <laughs> all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, Lord, why so much pain? But He knows was best for me thank you jesus although my weary eyes they can't see so i'll just say thank you lord i i, I won't complain the lord has been good to me. He's been good to me more than this soul world or you could ever be. He's been so good to me. He's dried all of my tears away, and he's turned my midnights into days. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Amen. I, I won't complain. Amen. <laughs> I won't complain. Amen. 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 I won't complain. 
praise the Lord because the Lord has been good to me. Although my weary eyes, they can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. I won't complain. When I think on the goodness of Jesus and all Amen. that he has done. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Yes, I want to have church. We just thank the Lord for what he's doing in this hour. Amen. I want to have church. I need some singers. I need. Wait. Amen. Amen. I have church. Glory to God. Glory to God. We just thank the Lord. Amen. 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 John joined the dead church. Mm. They didn't believe in shouting and speaking in tongues. But when they opened up the doors of the church, John joined that church. I feel like praising, praising him. Hey. Oh, I feel like praising, praising him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him all day long. I feel like praising, praising him. <laughs> oh, yes, God. If you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. <laughs> yes, right. Lord. If you don't want to praise him, don't hinder me. <laughs> praise him in the morning. Praise him in the morning. Praise him all day long. I feel like praising, praising him. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Amen, amen. Hey, I'm excited. I'm going to let Minister Sean go because I'll be up here. God, God is good. God is good. And it's so, it's so profound and, you know, not by accident that, the you know, pastor gets on here just talking about praising the Lord. When amen, morning, amen. He joined us for the morning encouragement. You know, I talked about giving your praise and how David praised the Lord so much that he like danced out his clothes. And I was talking about his wife, Mikhail, the daughter of King Saul. Amen. And how she despised David because he was so-called doing too much. Amen. As some would say. But you can never do too much praising for the Lord. Amen. 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 You got to praise the Lord with all your might, with all you got inside you. From Amen. Deep, deep down inside from the pits of your belly, you should always have a praise for the Lord. Amen. 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 I talked about the Mikhail spirit this morning. That yes. spirit will come and try to hinder your praise and mm. tell you that you're doing too much. And the ones that's sitting next to you while you're sitting in the pews and, and they just looking at you while you shouting and, 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 and running around and doing all kind of things for God and just giving God all the glory. And they just standing there just looking at you and, and not moving, not doing nothing. Those are the type of people you don't want to be around. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because when there's something on the inside of you and when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and the glory falls in the house. Yes, yes. You should want to give God all the praise. All the praise. How they say it when 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 Mary went to go see her cousin, say her baby leaped. Mm, mm, mm. If your baby ain't leaping, Ooh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, some people may be looking at us like we crazy. That's okay. They like what they got going on. You know what? If you don't want to praise them, don't hinder me. <laughs> Amen. Listen. Amen. Amen. Listen, we come to praise God. And 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 I, I've grown up not fitting in. So if I don't fit in now, I don't care, but I'm gonna get my praise on because I love the Lord. I love the Lord. When you come into the 
the, the connection of the Holy Spirit, when you have an encounter with God and, and you can feel on the inside what God is doing and how he's working what's going on in the inside and he's working it out and he's strengthening you, even though you feel like you want to fall out. Jesus was teaching the disciples because Jesus told them, man not to always pray and to faint not. So when you in the midst of about to, about to faint, you need to go down in prayer because Jesus is right there, able and willing to lift you to the place where you need to be. See, I don't care if people don't want to see me praise. I'm going to praise the Lord because I desire to be in the presence of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when you desire to be in the presence of God, see that thing that's on the inside that the Lord mm. has given you vision for Jesus, that you have yes, done. Lord. That. That the Lord has let incubate on the inside of you. Yes, yes. And like I was saying, when Mary and her cousin Elizabeth, they met, both, you know, they both were pregnant at the same time. So apparently if the person that's on the side of you don't understand that the, the, the praise that you're giving, they probably ain't got nothing on the inside. They Amen. Pregnant. They ain't pregnant with nothing. Amen. 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 I mean, my Lord. baby, the leak. So, so. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you, if you ain't got nothing on the, on the inside, you need to seek the Lord so he can place something on the inside of you. But a lot of people, a lot of us do have things on the inside. It's just lying dormant. Amen. So we need to let the Lord ignite you, ignite your fire, ignite your, your baby on the inside, whatever it is that he has given you. Amen. Amen. So the Lord, for tonight, for this Monday night live, as we yes. come in before you, giving you the word of the lord as he has given it to us and as many of you know we have been on this series what pastor first started out it was emotional stability yes then we went and branched out to spiritual stability then we talked about the economic and financial stability amen and then the lord threw something in there and he said that there's a holy disruption. Mm. I will come and give you a holy disruption. I will make you uncomfortable in your comfort because it's not where I want you to be. Amen. Amen. So, we just, we, so we just thank the Lord for that word that he has been giving us. And as we've been going strong in this, and when we have comfort in the Lord, we can have emotional stability. And when we have comfort in the Lord, we can have spiritual stability. When we have comfort in the Lord, we can have economic and financial stability. Amen. Amen. So it, Amen. All goes, it all goes hand in hand. Amen. So we just thank the Lord tonight that Amen. he comfort to us because he loves us. Amen. I've been talking about, you know, the different um, parts of being comforted in the Lord. First, we started out with the comfort of the deliverance. When we're delivered from some things, the Lord gives us comfort in that. Yes. The Lord gives us comfort because of his character, because of who he is. The Lord gives us comfort because of his greatness, how Amen. great he is, how marvelous he is, how majestic he is. That right there just make me want to praise the Lord even the more. As we just talked about, you know, the Lord will renew our strength. We just talked about the Lord will renew our strength, you know, and then we find comfort when we are God's servant. Because when we're serving him, we know that he's doing everything in his power. The Lord is fighting on our behalf. The Lord is making all things that were wrong right. He is Amen. turning things around in the name of Jesus. We Amen. are all here to serve the Lord and to serve God's people. Amen. Amen. Once we understand who we are and whose we are, it, it, it becomes a little clearer. You know, Amen. once I was blind, now I see. Mm. Amen. Praise the Lord. You don't, you don't have that cloudy vision no more. Jesus. Because the Lord done removed you from some people. He done removed some things from around yes, you. Yes, Lord. Yes. So we just thank the Lord for his comfort tonight. Yes, yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And tonight I'm going to talk about the comfort of the Lord because of his restoration. Mm. 
Jesus. Then you got my mind. So the Lord gives us restoration. Yes, yes, yes. And in Isaiah, we've been in the book of Isaiah from the um, we started out in chapter 40, and now we've worked our way up to chapter 43. And now we're talking about, you know, the Lord is, is giving Israel's restoration. So they the Lord is comforting Israel and giving them restoration. Amen. And Amen. So I just thank the Lord for tonight as this word comes forth. I pray that it is a blessing to you. Please like, share, invite, tag somebody in this message. Amen. Amen. Who will ever catch the replay? You know, it's going to bless Amen. them. Because Amen. during this time, we all need comfort in the Lord. Amen. We all need comfort in the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I, I, I just thank God for tonight for the word and for who he is and his love that he has for us. And we've been Amen. talking about just waiting upon the Lord. You know, after we've prayed, we be still, we be silent, we be quiet in the, that time of waiting and filled with expectancy and hope. Expectancy and hope. While you wait on the Lord, you be filled with expectancy and hope. Just, yes. don't, just don't sit there waiting. The mm. Lord has all the assignments to do. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, we gotta, Lord. We got to go out there and, and, and do the work of the Lord. Yes. Just don't, can't sit home and, and just wait for something miraculous to drop out the sky in our laps. No, 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 no. Lord say faith without works is dead. Mm. Whatever he gave you, you better go get it. Yes, yes. Thank you, and, Jesus. And, and see that see the enemy knows he done peeked in your future, your destiny. So he knows what the Lord has in store for you. Mm. But he can't do nothing about it. All they could do is hinder you. So at least try. But when you put your mind in Christ Jesus and you stand on the word of the Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And act on it. You work. Work the word because the word will work for you. Amen. Amen. All, Amen. All, it's all right here in his his holy word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So 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 tonight I'm gonna read from Isaiah the, the 43rd chapter. And I'm just gonna um I'm not gonna read the entire chapter. I'm just gonna pick out some key parts. But I do always encourage you to go and read, study, dissect. Get it clear and let the Lord give you revelation. Amen. For what you're going through and doing this time. So I just thank the Lord that even during this time, He's He's been blessing. Mm. In spite of yeah. all what's going around us. You know, yes, we know yes, the Lord yes. is in control. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise what, the enemy, what the enemy meant for harm, you know, the Lord will turn around and make it for your good. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. We do not take it lightly or do or take it for granted. You know, there has been a lot of lives lost. Amen. But we still look to the hills from what's come with our help. Our help cometh from the Lord. And we pray for those families that have lost loved ones due to this pandemic. But we, we, we just give God the glory tonight because he knows what's best for us. Amen. 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 We may not understand everything, but that's why he tells us don't lean to your own understanding. But acknowledge right. him in all your ways. And he will direct your paths. Amen. But we just talk to the Lord. You know, he will give you comfort. Amen. Amen. And, he, and he prepares us for certain things. He prepares us. So we just thank the Lord tonight. So as I, God bless begin, you. as I begin to read tonight, it says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Mm. Now, 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 how much love is that? Jesus. Or the Lord can say, I created, he created you. Yes. 
he formed you. Fear not. We are made in his image and in his likeness. Amen. Amen. Well, there's Amen. nothing that we should fear. He, he formed us. The Lord said we were born into sin and shaped in iniquity. So the Lord formed us before we went with our mother's womb. Mm. But once we were born, you know, we were born into sin. Yes. He didn't say we were sinners. We were born into it. Mm. Shaped by this world, by the things that's going on in it. But that's why he said that we have to separate ourselves. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Lord has a plan. He is strategic in what yes. he does. Yes, yes. As we um, listen to Dr. Bynum, she does this series on the, the right brain mm. and talks about, you know, there's a space in the, I believe, the frontal lobe that is left empty for a reason. And that's the space where the Lord can come in and tap on and be like, remember, I formed you. That's right. Praise God. Come, come on, on now, man of God. Come on now. Come on home. You know, you, you, you've been indulging enough. Yes. You ever, you, ever, you ever had the Lord knock on your door, tap on your shoulder? All right, you, you done did enough. I need, I need, I need you. I need you to come. I need you. I need you to work. I need, I need, I need you for my glory. I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna use you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I always say the Lord uses whom He chooses, how He chooses, whenever He chooses. Amen. Amen. We never know who is carrying our blessings, so that's why we have to walk in love. The Lord says, "Walk in love." We gotta come. Amen. To in love amen amen that's how faithful he is so that he calls us his own he said thou art mine mm. thank you jesus he thank you jesus are his and and i like it because i like how this verse started off because it says that the word you know it started off with the, the the word but and we all know that but is a conjunction word used to mm. introduce a phrase or a clause you know, but here it is used to indicate, you know, the impossibility of anything other than what is being stated. And like the Lord says, but now thus saith the Lord. Mm. Whenever the Lord has a but and he comes behind it with a but. But they that they wait. If something continue, they that wait. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we, I, I just thank the Lord for this. It's, it's a preposition. Amen. He prepositions you. Amen. And right where you are, the Lord has already prepositioned you for your destiny. Yes. Yes. We just got, we just got to get on our knees and pray and, and seek the Lord that way he can bring us through and get to wherever he needs us to be. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. So as I, and it says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Mm. Shall the flame kindle upon thee. I say, wait a minute, Lord, as I read this, I say, I say, wait a minute now. You talking about when we pass through the waters, we don't know how sometimes the waters are deep, y'all. Mm. <laughs> it says, he Real said, deep. He said, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Well, we know, you know, in Isaiah 59 and 19, it said, you know, the Lord says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the Amen. in his glory. Amen. And the rising of the sun. Mm -mm. Yes, and, Lord. Yes, he Lord. Said, he said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord 
shall lift up a standard against him. Yes. God, God's protection. The enemy shall not overtake us by any means. So as we go through the deep waters, as we go through the waters and we go through the rivers, the Lord is with us. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And, and, and as it says, we, we, you know, we walk through the fire. Now, we shall not be burned. Mm. Neither the flame shall chase upon thee. We walking through the fire. We shall not be My burned. God. The flame shall not kindle upon thee. Yes, now, Lord. That's not a comfort in God's word. No matter yes. what kind of hellfire you're going through right now, mm. you shall not be burned. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Just, just like the three Hebrew boys. I was just thinking about that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. Amen. You know, they were thrown in a fiery furnace for not bound down to King Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. Jesus. You know, bound down to a graven, a golden image of the king and worshiping an idol. So the king threw them in the fiery furnace. Turned, the, turned it up seven times. Oh, God, I'm mm, mm, mm. Crunk he, up the fire. He, he crunk it up. He turned it up seven times harder than usual. The Lord was with them. Wait a minute, who's that fourth man? I thought I sent three. Wait a minute. Who? Amen, 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 amen. The Lord was with them. The Lord is with you right now. Amen, amen. Praise the your Lord name, always, God. The Lord always comforts us. Yes. They came, they they they, they were un, they were shackled, they were tied up inside the fiery furnace. The Lord done went in there. He done sent the angel of the Lord. They done loosed them. They walking around in there freely. Thanking God. Not even getting God. burnt. Praising God. Just Praising walking God. around in there. Not bowing Didn't even down. come out smelling like smoke. When, <laughs> when, you're going through, when, when you're going through the fire, you got to still praise God. Yes. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're not getting burnt. He's the, the word of the Lord. And, and the Lord, he does it parallel to each other like he so they they didn't get burned yes the yes Lord says here that thou shalt there's no flame that shall kindle upon thee amen. thou shalt not be burned amen yes 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 oh I mean, jesus i tell you the lord always blown my mind he, i mean he started in the beginning when he parted the red sea and, mm. and, and and free and the children of Israel. Come on now. They, Come on they, now. They went through that Red Sea. So just imagine you walking through on dry land now, because he done parted the Red Sea. You got walls of water standing thousands and thousands, thousands of feet above your head. And you walking through that. Now, if that wasn't trusting the Lord, I don't know what it was. And then I don't understand how they walked through that and then murmured and complained. Mm. Just like some of us. Complaining when it's hot, complaining when it's raining, complaining well, when it's all right outside. It's complaining, complaining, complaining. Complaining. And we still don't have a praise. All we got is a complaint. Amen. You got to get a praise on the inside of you. You got to open your lips and give God glory, thanking him for what he has done. Thank you, Lord. Because he didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. And that that that's that's the love the Lord has for us. That's his that's the compassion of the Lord. That, that's the comfort that he gives us. In verse three, it says, For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Saba for thee. The Lord took, you know, he, the God, God took us in the place of others and many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. So Amen. He could have left, the, he could have left Israel behind. Hmm. But he didn't. 
Mm, better come on now, say that. But he didn't. In verse four, it says, since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been honorable and I love thee. Therefore, mm. will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Amen. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord gives up stuff. That's to keep us. That, mm. that, that, that's comfort. That's that's love. Christ's mm. love has stirred us to desire more of Him. At least it should. Even His immediate and glorious presence. That's His abiding love. And when you abide in something, that means you live in it. You should live in the love of God. Amen. That's why the Lord tells us that we must walk in love. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I'm, I'm going to skip down because, I mean, this, you know, for the sake of time, but, we you know, we try not to put no time restraints, but we want to be mindful of the people of God. You know? Amen. Because I got to get up early. So I'm, going, so I'm just going to go through these scriptures and I encourage you as I read them, you can write them down so you can go back and, you know, like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole chapter, but uh, almost most of it because the word is good. Amen. 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 The, the word is our rock. It's our foundation. It's what we should stand upon. In verse seven, I'm going to skip down to verse seven. It says, every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yea. I have made him. Again, the Lord is reminding us. He made us. He created us. He formed us. For who? For his glory. Everything that we do, we should do it for the glory of God. Amen. Verse 10, it says, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Mm, Jesus. The Lord, is our, the Lord told you he, he was his, his chosen servant. We need to understand and believe in him. Amen. Whose report will you believe? Amen. I believe the report of the Lord. Because he what? Because he made us and he formed us. So he know all about us. Amen. He know all about us and our mess. That he done turned into, a, that he's going to turn into a message. The mess that deterred us, took us off course, off the test. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We get back on track. We get back on, you know, we start taking that test again. We, we know that that, that that trial can be long sometimes. That's why, that's why it's called the trial. But, there, but there's glory to be given to the Lord. There's victory at the end. Amen. Amen. We want to get to the promise. We want to get to the promise what the Lord has for us. Amen. Verse 11, it says, I even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. There's no other people to God. <laughs> Only no him. That's why the Lord says, true this day, whom you shall serve. Whom you you serve. Are. Nobody else can't save you. Buddha can't save you. Harry Krishna can't save you. Muhammad can't, Muhammad save, can't you. save you. Allah. Allah. Nobody. Nobody. Only him. The true and living God. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It says in verse 12, I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Mm. Before all this stuff started happening in the world, there was no, none of this strange stuff going on. The Lord is saying. I was the only God then. I should be the only God now. 
We done made everything a God. Amen. We done made money a God. We done made the TV a God. We done made people God. People. People. Mm, I was going to say. Amen. 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 We done put everything before the Lord. But the Lord mm. said, mm -mm. you got to get it right. You're right. It's only, it's only one me. Get your house in order. And that is he. The Lord God Almighty. He's Elohim, our creator. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. I want to skip down to verse 18. It says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. So when the Lord has given you restoration, he's telling us, remember the things not of the old. That means he's delivered you from some things. Mm -hmm. Don't go back. Amen. Because if he brought you out, it was he brought you out for a reason. Amen. 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 Consider the things do not. Neither consider the things of the old. Amen. Behold, what? When we come into Christ Jesus, we become new creatures. Mm. Yes, make me new. Make me new. Make I, me new. I, I, I always love a, a new pair of shoes, and I, you know, I get get rid of the old ones. Mm. Jesus, it, it's it's always a blessing when God is doing a new thing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. your name. But do you recognize when God is doing a new thing? Half of we want to be stuck in the old. That's why the mm -hmm. Lord said that He will bring He will bring a holy disruption. That's why He He will bring a holy disruption in amen. your comfort. Amen. Amen. Praise and God. We're not too complacent in where we are. We so comfortable. To, yeah. We don't even care about nothing else. As long as we're getting what we want. No, the Lord says we go from glory to glory and faith to faith. Amen. We have to elevate. Amen. That's what he wants for us. He doesn't want us to stay where we are. He wants us to grow. We have to grow people of God. Amen. Amen. So in order for us to have emotional stability, financial stability, spiritual stability, we have to grow in God. And when we grow in God, we can have a balance. Amen. We can have the comfort of God. Amen. Amen. Praise your name, Jesus. So as you see, we've been talking about, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. We've been talking about emotional stability. Amen. Spiritual stability, economic and financial stability, and how the Lord will grow us and he will give us comfort in those areas. And how it goes hand in hand. Because I don't know about y'all. And you know, when the Lord is, you know, restoring things, He's mm. giving He gives you rest. Yes. During that process. Yes. So some of us don't matter rest in the process. Amen. Some of us don't matter rest in the process. He restores us, He helps us in a, you know. Our broken relationships. Amen. You know, he gives us physical healing. Mm. Jesus. You know, we some some don't know how to heal or rest during the process. Mm. Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Some some of us, the Lord has delivered from church hurt. He, he's giving you comfort in that. He's restoring you. Amen. Some have, you know, been, been victims of gossip. But, you know, some have emotionals. And that's where emotional stability comes in. That plays a part in your emotional stability. Amen. We've been broken. The Lord has come to restore us. Amen. Amen. Even in our brokenness, 
we have the power and the strength that the Lord gives us. We just got to recognize it and we just got to take rest in it. Just like some of our credit scores and our credit reports and we, we, we pray that the Lord, Lord, restore my credit. Amen. Amen. You know, cancel some debts. I'm, I don't know about you, but when, when my credit is restored and the debts are canceled, I have rest in the Lord. Amen. He gives me comfort. And some of them get miraculously taken off, but some of them, he wants us to be good stewards over our, our finances. So he tells us, you know, just, just pay some things off. Be wise, be with. We have to use wisdom. Or call a pastor. She gets you some credit restoration. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Praise <laughs> Lord. Lord to God, the Lord opened you up for that one. <laughs> Lord, Lord, God. Lord God. Praise God. We just thank God that He gives us rest and He gives us comfort in in, in everything that we go through, amen. even when it doesn't seem like it. It may seem like we don't have the rest or the comfort but that's because this mind is thinking very carnally it's thinking very worldly but when we think with the mind of christ jesus things begin to look a little different amen it's a little more at ease amen. comes knowing that the lord has everything in control you know amen. Your situation has a continuation. Amen. Amen. Praise your name, God. The Lord going to take you from wages to wealth. Mm. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Y'all better type that I receive in the comment section. Y'all better receive that blessing. Patience Amen. is produced. Amen. When we wait on the Lord, that patience, it produces a lot of things that the Lord has for us. There's always a confirmation that the Lord will give us. Amen. Amen. Praise Lord God. Lord God. You know, some people, you know, they like to always bring up your 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 past. Or your or, or 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 what you used to do, and but that, that that's only that's only a scheme and a plot and a trick of the enemy, and that's why you know we don't answer to nothing other than what the Lord calls us. Amen. 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 Because when the Lord has given you rest, we gotta know and have wisdom and know how to maneuver through that, and not to be subjected or, or fall to that or, or or be drawn into that little that that that, that little that little you know that little web that you know became became grow and spread you know it starts off small then it just it you know when the spider goes around it just keep building and building don't get don't get caught up in that amen 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 so i thank the lord for this word tonight i want to i want to turn the floor over to pastor hall you know, if she has anything that she wants to share, anything what the Lord is placing in the heart, you know, and I just want to, you know, to encourage the people to know that, you know, the Lord will give you comfort, but we just got to recognize what he's doing in this season. And Amen. some people say, you can know, always say, well, how calm? Why are you so calm sometimes? I usually ask myself, why am I so calm sometimes when, when I see most people going through or 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 not or in a frantic worry, and I'm not saying that I don't get worried because I do, but then you know I start reading the Word of God and I remember what the Word says. Amen. And when we and when we remember and remind you know ourselves of what the Word of the Lord says, it brings comfort to us. Amen. 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 That's why we trust in the Lord. Amen. Praise your name. Lord of God. Lord of God. My God. We we thank we thank God. I, I I have some things that I would like to add, and I thank the Lord for the message from the man of God. Um, Melissa, I want to tell you that the Lord is going to do something in your life 
uh, I was, you had dropped in my spirit probably about two minutes before I saw you join on this live. Um, I, I want you to keep trusting in God and make sure that you're staying to your commitment, that you are obeying God and you're doing everything that the Lord is requiring of you to do. Uh, not what we require of you, but what God requires of you. And I hear the Lord saying there is more that the, he does require of you and he wants you to walk in obedience. Uh, the Lord has great things in store on your life. Ooh, that, uh, and he wants you to make sure that you are being obedient to him because what you receive is based upon your obedience and sacrifice unto the Lord. The Lord I hear is desiring to change your name. That means he's desiring to change the very essence of who you are. And when the Lord wants to change your name and change your identity, that means he is making you a new creature in him. The Lord is so therefore the Lord is saying, it's time. It's time to go full throttle and obey his word. I want to read very briefly. Um, and again, I'm not going to uh, speak too long as uh, Minister Sean um, blessed us tonight with a great message. Uh, but the other day I was in the word and, and I was looking for a scripture to uh, just give uh, for our, our prayer call with my family. And um, I opened up the Bible and I went to the book of Nahum, N-A-H-U-M. I say Nahum, I think Minister Sean said something else, but I say he say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. Oh, Nahum. Oh, Nahum. Nah okay, what well, he said, Nahum, N-A-H-U-M, uh, it's in the Bible. <laughs> Well, we thank the Lord. Listen, uh, uh, chapter two. So I'm going to read from Nam, uh, chapter two. And uh, Lord, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that incorrectly. Um, but I, I want to read. I, I, I want it. It's okay. The Lord know our heart. He gonna, Amen. You know, he know, he understand. Um, but I'm going to start from the first verse and I'm just going to read to the third. And, and I read it as a scripture, and then when we got on the uh, family meeting on Saturday morning, the Lord moved in a mighty way. I tell you, if you're missing these family meetings that we have, there's only one now. It used to be three, uh, but now we're on Saturday mornings at eight. You are missing a blessing because the Lord shows up, and I mean, he shows out. We were in worship and praise, but it says, and I thank the Lord. So we're in Nahum, N-A-H-U-M. Uh, chapter two, I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Version, and uh, we're going to read verses one through three, and it says, he who dashes in pieces, that is the king of Meta Babylon, is come up before your face. Keep the fortress and the ramparts man. Watch the road. Gird your loins, collect and fortify all your strength and power mightily. For the Lord restores the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of ancient Israel. My God. Now, that, now, I'm going to continue to read in a minute. Y'all know I like to stop and be talking in the middle of the scripture and then finish I reading it after. But one thing, Pastor. Yes, yes. That second verse, it says, for the Lord will restore the splendor and majesty of Jacob, like the splendor of ancient united Israel. What, what version are you reading? Uh, I'm reading from the Amplified. But in all You're reading on, are you reading online? Yes. yes. Okay. The different. I'm reading out of the Amplified book, so it's it's but, different. But even in that, it says the Lord will restore. And then he refers to like the splendor of the ancient United Israel. I mm -hmm. just read about the restoration that the Lord yes. for Israel. Yes. You see how the Lord has, you know, his people on one accord tonight. Amen. 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 
Amen. I give glory to the Lord. Amen. God is good. So we got to pay attention. So, go ahead. We just got to pay attention to the, the word of God and see how strategic he is. Amen. Ready to restore some things for the love of him. For the love that he has for you all, the Lord is getting ready to restore some things. Yes. I feel the Holy Spirit. In the yes, name Lord. Of Jesus, there's a restoration getting ready to sit upon your houses. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. So. For the Lord restores the excellency of Jacob as the excellency mm. of ancient Israel. Mm. Now, as we are going through um, trying times, as we are going through situations in our world and we don't understand what's going on or, you know, we don't understand why things are taking place. You know, you may be stressed out trying to make ends meet and, you know, you're pouring out and pouring out and pouring out and you just feel like maybe God, you know, I, this is just too much. I can't handle it. But the Lord is saying he restores and, and not just that he restores, but he restores the excellency so when god is working on you god is not just working you to create you to be mediocre or just creating you just to be the lord is creating you and putting you in a spirit of excellency the lord wants to take every broken piece of you and make it whole every bitter piece of you and make it joyful every per every part of you that people have hurt that they have misused and abused and and have thrown you to the wayside and the lord is saying here i am to restore you to a place of excellency for plunders have plundered them and empty them out outrageously destroyed their vine branches the shields of the mighty man are dyed red the valiant men are clothed in dye scarlet the chariots blaze with fire of steel on the day of his preparation for battle, the officer horses prance like a cypress forest reeling in the wind. I, I, I want you to understand tonight that you may be sitting in a place of discomfort, but God is there willing and able to give you the comfort that you desire. Mm -hmm. You may be sitting in a place of desolation where you feel that this is it for me and I've thrown in the towel. But if God is not through with you yet, the Lord will send a spirit to come snatch you up and bring you to the very place where he desires you to be. See, our God yeah. is a God that can do what he can do exceedingly and abundantly all that we could ever ask or even think of so God says that his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways and we have to understand that the scripture tells us as Jesus was teaching the disciples he said to them whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven so that means that while you're sitting there contemplating on I'm no one or I can't make it or this is too much for me the Lord has given you restoration. The Lord is not restoring you to a place where you're just okay. The Lord is going to restore you to a place of excellency. So you got to learn how to get in your word. You got to learn how to stay before God and say, God, I bind depression in the name of Jesus. And because I'm binding it on earth, I know that it will be bound in heaven. I lose right now the spirit of joy and peace. And I know because Jesus said it in the word that if I loose it on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. And see, you got to understand the power of the word that God has implanted in your womb. God is not restoring you to a desolate place. God is not restoring you to the valley. God is not restoring you in a mountain. God is not restoring you to mediocre. It says that God is bringing restoration of excellency. So that, said, that means that what God is doing, no man can compare. What God is doing, you wouldn't even think of it. What God is creating in your life, what he's putting before you you can't even imagine it because god does not think like us amen 
You got to understand, you got to know the word. You got to know that when the enemy comes, though the storms, they keep coming. You got to understand that God is a God that, like Minister Sean said, that he parts the Red Sea. But see, the understanding part of that is God parted the Red Sea just so that the Israelites could get through. But when their enemy came, he swished the, the water right back and drowned them because God has a way of escape for you. God has a way to bring you out. God yes, has a way to put you in a secret place where you're visually not seen, but you got to be able to let the Lord move. You got to be able to let the Lord come in and do what he does. Some of you can't move forward because you Ooh, keep trying uh -huh. to do it. The Lord is saying it's time to take I out of the equation. It's time to shift I out of the way because God is trying to restore you to excellency. And when you come to a place of excellency, you understand that they cannot get to that place just with you. You know that you got to put in some work up and you're going to need some crit criticism from somebody else and you're going to need some wisdom from the person over there and you're going to need some guidance from the person in the back so when you begin to let the lord operate and restore what god does is bring in the team see that is the problem we want to do everything alone we want to get the glory we're glory things but god is saying stop taking his glory because the glory yeah. belongs to yeah. him so Amen. when the time comes to be restored yes, to the place of excellency, he's going to formulate a team. The team is going to come in, and when they come in, you're going to have your your middle player, your right player, your back, however y'all do the sports. I don't know all the positions, but listen, and you're going to have your team, and God is saying, I got this person that sets you up to do this. I got this person that's going to organize all the structure of your business. I got this person who's going to work on your finances. I got this person who's going to come and pray and lay hands on you because you need to be delivered because there's some demons trying to snatch you up but you don't get it because you keep trying to do it yeah, but when the lord comes in and restores hey, yes god yes god when the lord comes in and restores god makes you whole yes he you does. can feel you can yes, feel the difference when the lord is moving i was talking today about substance Oh, Lord, Jesus, I didn't know who's going to talk about this tonight. I, I'm, I'm Lord, guide me, help me, Jesus. Okay. All of us have something that we have an addiction to. Now, this is your moment and your time to be delivered. Because when you admit what you're struggling with is when you allow the Lord to come in and work. And some of y'all won't admit that y'all do nothing. Amen. Your pride. It comes before you fall. It comes before you fall. Okay. When a person has an addiction, that is that person's substance to get high, to get a fix. Okay. Those fixes are usually momentarily. Some, and I, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you seeing out. Some of y'all got addiction to lust. You're fornicating. Uh, some of y'all got addictions to alcohol. Some of y'all got addictions to cigarettes. Oh, my nerves bad. I just, you know, I just need to need to smoke. You're killing yourself inside. Uh, so, some of y'all have addiction to heroin or crack cocaine. Or some of y'all got addictions with sleeping with other people's husband or sleeping with other people's wives. And some of y'all got addictions to sinning and then coming in church, spreading your demons all in the congregation. Listen, whatever your demon is, we pray in the name of Jesus that you are delivered. But you're relying upon a substance. And that substance is a momentary thing to get you a fix. But see, I have a savior and his name is jesus and he died on the cross so that your substance should be him so that you can walk in the abundance of joy because he is the light and the way and the truth so when you stop putting your your fixation on getting high off of substance of the world and you begin to put your energy and your your well-being in the substance and the fixation of Christ you will become a new creature as minister Sean said the Lord will then transform you into what he's doing because God wants to restore you to a place of excellency he does not want you sitting in a place of desolation but some of you like to sit in the midst of 
pity because you want someone to come pacify you. But tonight it's time to get off of the pacifying spirit and move on to the prosperity spirit. Move wow. on to the spirit that stops saying I can't and move into the spirit that says I can. You got to learn how to speak the power of I am. I am more than a conqueror. I am delivered and set free. I am above and not beneath. Yes, God, I God. am the head and not the tail. I am prosperous. I am victorious. I am in the middle of standing in overflow and abundance. I am a child of the most high God. I am a business owner. I am elevated in the spirit of God. You have to learn how to speak yes, those God. things that aren't as though they were. And when you continue to speak, you put it in your atmosphere. But some of you cannot stop coming across death because you keep speaking it my God. And the Lord is saying, how can he restore you to excellency when whenever he gets ready to move on your behalf, you kill it with your tongue? My God. My God. Mm. You kill it with your tongue. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus. The Lord wants to give you comfort. The comfort of the Lord is what Minister Sean said. Mm. The Lord didn't come just to, re to 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 put you in a place. No, 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 no. He said, for the Lord restores the excellency of Jacob. Hey, Jacob is one of our, our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's restoring you to the covenant of the promise. Hey, yeah. Do you understand what, hey, thank you, Jesus. Do you understand what that means? When God creates a covenant over your life, that means that God is with you. We were reading it. Um, Jesus, Lord, we read that word in Bible study. I, my eyes begin to water. I couldn't even get past the scripture because the Lord had been doing something. And I have to go back to that and read it because how profound it was. I got so stuck on this part. It, it, it talks about how uh, Abraham went into a place. And for the second time, Abraham came in. And when he came in, he lied, right? He lied to the people. So when he lied to the king, I, I, I mispronounced his name. I think I spoke about it a little bit on Monday morning encouragement on Friday. Abimelech. Abimelech. I said it. I've been practicing I said, I said it, Abimelech. The Lord came to him and said, in his dream, I'm reading Genesis chapter 20, verse 3. And it says, But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said, behold, you are a dead man because of the woman whom you've taken as your own, for she is a man's wife. Mm. But Abimelech had not come near her. Mm. So he said, Lord, will you slay a people who are just an innocent? Did not the man tell me she is my sister? And she herself said, he is my brother. In integrity of heart and innocence of hands, have I done this? And verse number six says, then God said to him in a dream, yes, mm. I know. You hear what the Lord is saying? He didn't just say, oh, I know. He said, yes. So he answered him, yes. Ask the Lord a question. Ask and he shall, you know, you'll get it. Ask the question. You'll get what you're looking for. He says, yes, I know you did this in integrity of your heart. For it was I, now, this, the part that, um, this the part that messed us up right here. We're going to get to that part. This, this messed all of us up on the Bible study. All of us. For it was I who kept you back and spared you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not give you occasion to touch her. L listen, 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 l l l that, that blessed me. Please, some of y'all is only by the grace of God. <laughs> 
only by the grace of God. Not only did he block, he didn't have to block it because he didn't yes. even allow the occasion for this man to sin because he understood his heart and his integrity. See, Abraham came in with Sarah and they lied for the second time to somebody else saying that they're brother and sister, but God came to him in a dream to warn him and say, you are being deceived. How many of you are being deceived? How many of you are allowing people to come in your life and feed you something that doesn't belong to you? But when you walk in integrity and obedience of God, he keeps you. Mm -hmm. And he won't even allow the occasion to arise. Because the Lord is preparing you for excellence. Mm. To the covenant of Jacob. To keep you. Mm. To keep you. He sends comfort. Peace. Restoration, healing. Our God is good. He deserves praise. Mm. I told Abel, I'm like, I didn't even allow the occasion to arise for you to see. Mm. A good man steps are ordered by the Lord. <laughs> mm. A good man's steps are ordered by the Lord. I thank the Lord tonight. I, I'm not going. I'm not going to go on. I thank the Lord tonight for for the message. I, I thank the Lord for the word. I thank the Lord. 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 My soul. I found the song that I was looking for. Um, that I sang on Saturday, I, Lord, please that bring that back to my, my memory. Um, and the song is called My Soul Has Been Anchored. But before you go on, Pastor, uh, I just want to um, say what the Lord is saying. Because even in that scripture, how the Lord went to Abimelech in the dream, the Lord has went to many of us in dreams. He done gave us signs. He done mm -hmm. gave us warnings. Yet we don't pay attention to those things because our minds are not in Christ Jesus. Amen. But we know that the Lord is giving us a warning. And some ignore the warning. The warning always comes before destruction. But we still like to end up going on mm -hmm. and doing things that we know we shouldn't have done. Men, you're sleeping with a wife. You don't even know she's a wife. Mm. Women, you're sleeping with a husband. You don't even know he's a husband. But if you be in your word, the Lord will reveal things to you. He will give you discernment. So Amen. You, the Lord will never make us to be ashamed. Amen. 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 The Lord keeps us. The Lord saves us. He will never make us to be ashamed. Amen. He gives us the warning that the Lord went in a dream. He 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 stopped the occasion from happening. Mm. He, and he told him, "You a dead man walking. You you a dead man walking if you touch that that woman because she married." Mm. My God, I mean. Even then, it had, you know, it had passed and stuff, but even now, it has me in a position like, like, wow, Lord, I feel the Holy Spirit. Mm. Somebody needed to hear this on this line, or somebody's going to catch the Amen. read. Amen. Because he did not even allow the occasion to arise. The, the, the Lord keeps us. Mm -hmm. Jesus is saying it. And then he restores us that the, and, and gives us comfort. And what a mighty God we serve. Jesus. You know, and, and, and I heard you say earlier about sometimes certain, you know, we're just, people are trying to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that, you know, it sounds, it's very cliche. Everybody's always said it, but the Lord has dropped in my spirit. You know, we, we, we're trying to make ends meet, you know, those who use that term when you're trying to stretch some things. Mm -hmm. The Lord is not trying to stretch what you have to make ends meet. The Lord is trying to stretch you. He's Amen. trying to bring you out your comfort zone. He's trying to bring you into a place of comfort where he wants you to be. He's bringing, he's disrupt, he's making a holy disruption of your situation where you are at. Men, ends don't meet. An end is an end that's done. So maybe the Lord is trying to get you to be in a position where you need to be. Maybe he's trying to place you where he has you, where your calling is, where he needs you to be at for work. Maybe he's put a vision in you that you need to go forth and, and, and just birth on out to start your own business. Mm -hmm. That's why that job ain't working for you. That's why you trying to make ends meet and it ain't gonna never happen because that's not what the Lord has for you. Mm -hmm. That's not what he desires for you to be. But when we step in and like pastor say, when we, when we want to put the eye in everything, and don't let the Lord be the Lord. And, you know, we think that we know everything. That, that That's what happened. That's what happens. Amen. We got to get out of the way. We got to get out of God's way. We got to let the Lord be God all by himself. We got to be silent. But still working and doing what the Lord told us to do. Amen. Speak in his face to know what it is that he desires for us to do. Amen. We got to get in the place. We, we, we just, we just got, we just got to get it together because the Lord is restoring us to excellency. Amen. He is excellent. He is marvelous in all that he do. And if we are made in his likeness and image, therefore we should be doing the same. Amen. We should not be just trying to be mediocre my god and you know and you know the lord had me go to go back to hezekiah and you know in, in the same isaiah 38 you know in those in chapter 38 it talks about the sickness of hezekiah hezekiah was sick but in verse 2 it says that then hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, go, and say to Hezekiah, thus said the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto the days 15 years. So the Lord heard Hezekiah's prayer. He sent a messenger. He sent the prophet. Go and tell him that. I will add 15 years into his life. I, I'm healing him. The Lord is turning some things for you people to go. Realize what he's doing. The Lord is healing you from some things. You got to turn from that thing. You have to turn from it. Turn your face to the wall. Seek the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Get in a quiet place. That's restoration. He, that's, that, that, that's comfort. When we come on my show, that's why we got to be mindful of when God sends, like Pastor said, God does not want you to work alone. No, it's a team. It's a team. If he doesn't tell you directly himself, he surely will have someone else to bring you a message. But be mindful of who brings you a message. Still seek the Lord first. Pray about it. Amen. Amen. Not to your own understanding. But acknowledge God in all thy ways, and he shall direct your paths. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I just needed to release that. The Lord is turning some things. He's restoring some things. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we give honor to the Lord tonight. Yeah, the Lord is doing some things. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I, I want to I briefly just give some announcements. I know we've been on here for almost two hours, so um, we allow the Lord to move. Um, and we just honor the Lord. Uh, next Tuesday, not tomorrow, but next Tuesday we will be having, is next Tuesday the last Tuesday? Um, let me see. <clears throat> Next Tuesday is the 24th. I mean, the 25th. I muted myself by mistake. The 25th, we will be having an accessory prayer. Um, the shut in, we're going to have the second week of September. Uh, we usually have them back to back, but I heard in my spirit not to do that. Um, so we're going to have. Uh, intercessory prayer on 9 20 i'm sorry 8 25 that is next tuesday not tomorrow next tuesday intercessory prayer and uh, we will have the flyer out uh, if you'd like to join uh, next tuesday august 25th time is 7 30 p.m eastern standard time 561-214-8410 the access code is 909648 uh starting on the 24th uh through the 30th we will be on a seven day Daniel fast, uh, meaning we will use the Daniel fast as a part of our seven days, which means uh, if you eat rat meat, you ain't gonna be able to eat it on the fast. I'm just letting you know. Um, it's all fruit-based, natural plant-based food. It is not meat and steak and hamburger and, 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 Don Perry, not Don Perry on his alcohol. None of that either. Is that alcohol? I think it is. I don't know. Listen, y'all y'all can tell I don't drink. Amen. Nothing but fruits and vegetables. You can have tea, minimal coffee, no meat, no meat for seven days. It will run the 24th, starting at 12.01 a.m. So that means right after the 23rd end, coming into the 24th, we start. And it will go off. On the 31st at 12.01 a.m. So that's seven days. So that means that that would be the 30th going into the 31st. Once 12.01 a.m. on the 31st hits, the fast is over. I will create the flyer. I will put it out. You need to refrain from too much social media. We are fasting. These things that we desire only come by fasting and by praying. So we are calling a corporate fast. Amen. Amen. If you are looking for the Lord to increase your life, if you are looking for the Lord to do some things in you, you can join on this fast. Now, I will encourage you, if you mess up, that's okay. Complete the fast, right? Now, don't go out eating steak every day to my Lord, you know my heart and I messed up. No, you have no discipline. Amen. I'm just being honest. Amen. Right? I love you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to pacify your spirit. I want to see your spirit grow. Um, so we will have the flyer. We will put it out and we thank the Lord. Uh, I, I have a song. I, I don't know if I want to sing it right now. Maybe I'll, another time. Is that me again? Or is that you? That was me by accident. Okay. Um, I'm like, okay, I ain't touching nothing this time. But I, I want you all to know to just keep seeking God. Um, there's a song that's called My Soul is Anchored in the Lord. You can play it and listen it on YouTube. Um, I was going to sing it, but I'm not going to sing it. I want to adhere to the time and I have to get up very early in the morning. So, But we thank the Lord for each and every one of you that have joined us on tonight. Amen. Amen. Um, also, we have pinned in the comments if you want to be a blessing or so to the ministry. Um, you know, I, I mentioned if, if I have blessed you in any way or Minister Sean uh, has blessed you in any way, 
we we don't typically ask for anything, but we are asking if you would like to sow a seed, um, you can do so by going to our website, familymeetingministries.org and hit the donate button. You can pay by credit card or you can pay by um, pay by way of your PayPal account. Uh, or also for those who have Cash App, you can Cash App uh, your C to dollar sign F-M-M-I-N-C-07. And we appreciate it. We do want to say that we thank the Lord for those who partnered with us um, to bless other people on Saturday, I believe, on the 15th. We try to do it in the middle of the month. And we were able to help four people by sending them a seed um, to help them. You know, during this time of pandemic, it's always important to give. Um, sometimes sacrificially you have to, but trusting and believing that the people that you're blessing, the Lord sees your heart. And uh, it's, it's definitely great to give. So we thank the Lord for that. And if for the month of September that you would like to partner with us, uh, you can do so by, again, the, the same methods, the payment that I mentioned, and just indicate that you're partnering uh, so that we can bless someone. Um, so we thank the Lord for what God is doing. And again, if you have been blessed by any message that we've provided to you from God, because it's not for me, because some of the stuff I say, I'd be like, where did that come from? Because I wasn't thinking about that. You know, so I see you, you sow into fertile ground, you sow into where you've been blessed by the word. So Amen. we thank you uh, for joining. Um, I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't believe so. And if I am, it's okay. We'll touch on it later. But we thank the Lord for each and every one of you that have joined. I tell you, I had a great time tonight. Amen. I was truly blessed. Amen. Amen. I was glad when they I was, said I was to blessed. I bless. I was blessed. Let us go into the house of the Lord. So we thank God. I just want to say that uh, we trust in the Lord and we do good and know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. We know that all things that they work for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. You first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness and in all things acknowledge God in all of your ways and he will direct your path be sober minded well balanced and diligent in your spirit because that enemy of yours the devil he roams around like a fierce lion seeking for someone to devour I hear to tell someone Zachariah um, I believe it's 410 do not despise small beginnings. Someone is listening to the sound of my voice. Do not despise small beginnings. Sometimes we get very disencouraged because the beginning is very rough and it's not as big as we intend it to be or that we desire. But the Lord is saying, do not despise the small beginnings. I thank the Lord for you all. I love you all. And I will usher the floor back over to Minister Sean. Minister Sean, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So as we close tonight, you know, we always want to, you know, give the people a chance to either come on to the Lord and be saved, have salvation, or rededicate your lives to the Lord. And you know, the Lord always has his arms open, always, you know, welcoming you, welcoming you home where you belong. Amen. So I'm just get the opportunity for anyone who is not saved and would like to be saved tonight just to repeat after me and say that these words. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I ask you for your forgiveness. And I ask you for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you died for my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. I turn from my sins. I turn from my sins. And invite you into my heart. And invite you into my heart. And in my life. And in my life. And I want to trust and follow you. And I want to trust and follow you. As my Lord and personal savior as my Lord and personal Savior. In, in Jesus' name, I pray. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you pray that 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 simple prayer, you have became a child, a citizen, an ambassador of heaven in the kingdom of God. Amen. So we welcome you home tonight. Amen. Glory be to God. Let the angels rejoice. Amen. 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 We just give honor to the Lord tonight for what he has done. Yes, so, God. Amen. Amen. It's always a blessing and a pleasure to come before the Lord's people. I'm just excited and what the Lord is doing in this time. Amen. 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 Well, I pray that you all were blessed by the message tonight. Yes. Yes, I, Lord. I know I was. And for those who are going to watch the replay, share, like, Tag somebody, you know, because I know someone needs to hear that message. The Lord, the Lord will give us comfort. Yes. As he restores us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He gives us rest. That will, that we can gain emotional stability, financial stability, and spiritual stability. Amen. Amen. We grow as we go. Amen. From glory to glory and faith to faith. All right. Amen. You, everyone be blessed tonight. We love you all. God bless you, people of God. Be Have blessed. a blessed night. Be blessed.